Chapter 17, Demon King Lun Ri, 1. On the battle stage, surrounded by spectators, Zhu Hu was hell bent on destroying Li Kai. He wanted to pull out his muscles, flay his skin, and smash his body into a thousand pieces. Nan Huaren and Protector Mo wanted to believe in Li Kai, although the chance of him winning was slim. He had continuously performed miracles in the past. Hey, can he really beat Senior Zhu? Ever since Li Kai went through the chaotic heart forest in one go, the disciples of the Nine Saint Demon Gate considered him as a real opponent. An older senior shook his head. The difference between them is too great. It is a mortal versus a heaven's mandate cultivator. Li Kai wouldn't be able to win unless he was somehow given an immortal emperor's true treasure. But even that isn't realistic. Even with it, he wouldn't have enough blood force to activate the energy. That's true. A mortal cannot activate a single usage of an immortal emperor true treasure. The fierce slaughter sword technique of Junior Zhu is overly powerful from its mysterious truths. A life or death battle with the technique would not bode well for his opponent. A disciple that had previously sparred with Zhu Hu offered his opinion. Don't forget about his golden hawk physique as well. Although it is only a Haoshan rank physique, it has considerable speed. If you combine both his speed and power, you can say that his offensive power is nearly unmatched in our generation. Cultivators valued physiques very highly. They ranked from weakest to strongest as the following. Mortal physique, Haoshan physique, Zianshan physique, King physique, Saint physique, and lastly, Immortal physique. The majority of the world has the mortal physique, including Li Kai. It is the weakest both in terms of physical strength and blood force. Zhu Hu Yawward, sword energies rotated around his body in an upward manner. They became a giant, impenetrable fortress of visible, radiant swords, all pointing towards Li Kai. The technique served as a defensive measure as he was channeling his energy. Open. A heavenly sword came out from Zhu Hu's mouth. It split into eight different heavenly swords. These swords were gigantic, towering at 200 meters each. A single strike could split the earth itself. Fierce slaughter sword, heavenly sword Yan Jin. A disciple couldn't help but exclaim their jealousy and envy. Zhu Hu's true energy is formed by Yan Jin's heavenly jade with a complete magical pattern. Heavenly sword Yan Jin is for offense and fierce slaughter sword for defense. Within our generation, he is nearly unbeatable. Witnessing the scene, Protector Mo was humbled. Zhu Hu proved to be more powerful than expected, especially when he has the possession of a Yan Jin sword. Protector Mo himself wouldn't be able to pierce through Zhu Hu's defenses. After his failed attack, the Yan Jin sword formation would immediate counterattack at a time when he is the most vulnerable. Zhu Hu maneuvered his swords at Li Kai, and maniacally yelled, Come here, you bastard. Today, I will slice you into a thousand pieces. Fu, Fu. Li Kai spat into his palms and then rubbed them together. This rather crude gesture was completely different from his normally elegant demeanor. A thousand pieces? Li Kai retorted, You, alone, is not enough. Let me beat you into a pig's head. Even your parents will not recognize who you are after I am done. Li Kai slowly took out the serpent punishing stick. Nan Huaren almost went unconscious from the scene. Wasn't that the fireplace stick in the grand chamber of the cleansing incense ancient sect? He was expecting Li Kai to use the invisible dual blades technique. Maybe its miraculous power would help him tie the fight. However, Li Kai wasn't using the blades, but the wooden stick instead. The Yan Jin sword would cut that thing in half in a second. Protector Mo's only thought at this moment was to save Li Kai's life the moment it was in danger. No matter the cost, using a wooden stick to fight against the Yan Jin sword? Could it be an immortal emperor grade weapon? Yu He squinted his eyes and opened his heavenly vision technique in order to see through the wooden stick. He was, indeed, worried that the stick was a treasure made by an immortal emperor. However, despite his numerous techniques and concentration, the wooden stick was just a wooden stick. There were no magical enchantments, nor cultivation techniques to utilize. A wooden stick versus a heaven's mandate level sword. Yu He was at a loss for words. Protector Hua was not as skeptical as Yu He. He only wanted to witness Li Kai's death. Li Kai pointed his serpent punishing stick at Zhu Hu like a ruffian and said, Little boy, come here. Let this grand pie shatter your butt. I'll kill you. Zhu Hu screamed as the eight heavenly swords became one sword. Straight from the sky, the Yan Jin sword, surrounded by a gigantic energy, swung down towards Li Kai. Its path burned with fire. The battle stage now bathed in a sea of flames. This is the end. Nan Huaren turned around, not wanting to see the result of this monstrous strike. It seemed like Zhu Hu wanted to finish this in one move, and he used his most powerful technique. Good. Li Kai paid no mind. He screamed in a strange manner and jumped forward with a random motion, swinging his stick. The scene that everyone was expecting did not happen. The serpent punishing stick met the weakest part of the engine sword during its trajectory. The sword's energy dissipated, and the physical sword plunged to the ground. It was as if it was bitten by a poisonous snake, unable to obey Zhu Hu's command. Little boy, I will beat you into a pig's head. Zhu Hu hadn't regained his composure, but Li Kai was already in front of him. The stick passed through his sword fortress and rained blows directly onto his body. Die, Zhu Hu did not retreat. He once again gathered his sword energy and surrounded Li Kai with it. Gather, however, to no avail. His virtuous paragon sword technique had no effect. The serpent punishing stick continuously struck at the formation's weakest points, and he successfully negated the incoming blows. Finally, it struck Zhu Hu's face, and that one blow made Zhu Hu redden with blood. He became disoriented, stars in his eyes and thunder in his ears. Bam, 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 in the blink of an eye. Li Kai had pummeled Zhu Hu ten times, all of them hitting the meridians and his weakest spots. Zhu Hu was like a snake without its skeletal body, unable to stand up. His blood force was in disarray, and his cultivation techniques were unusable. He fell to the ground with a busted face. Hitting a snake required one to aim for its head. This was true for the blows struck by Li Kai as well. They have to hit the weak points and defensive holes of the opponents. Unless the opponent had reached the heaven's primal stage, 
They could not escape the blows for he had not perfected his own understanding of the defensive mysterious truths. One of the requirements for heaven's primal is a rebirth of one's body and the understanding of techniques as well as a body protection aura, rendering the serpent punishing stick useless. However, since Zuhu was far away from heaven's primal, the wooden stick was his prime nemesis. Keep in mind that even immortal Emperor Minutes Ren was beaten by the stick, repeatedly. The same applied for all of his strongest generals, including nine Saint Virtuous Paragon. The serpent punishing stick was not a treasure or divine artifact. It was only a regular branch grown from a small tree in the ghost forest, basked by demonic aura throughout the ages. However, this made it anything but ordinary. The ghost forest was one of the few ancient ominous grounds. It was exceedingly rare in this world. In the beginning of the Emperor's era, Li Kai as the Dark Crow entered the ghost forest and spent countless effort to obtain this stick. The stick also had another property that made it appealing to Li Kai. No matter how many times a person is struck by it, they would not die from the blows. It was a stick specifically meant for punishment and teaching. This made it very appropriate for Li Kai when dealing with the powerful geniuses under his tutelage like immortal Emperor Minutes Ren. Bang, bang, bang. After Zhu Hu had fallen unconscious, to the ground, Li Kai did not show any mercy. He kept on striking the body of Zhu Hu. His body was now filled with wounds. No one could tell if he was dead or alive. This scene jolted the spectators. Yu He, once again, activated his mysterious eyes to look at the serpent punishing stick, but he still couldn't find anything special about it.